Welcome to the Potter training video on PAD protocol SLC detectors and bases. PAD stands for Potter Addressable Device Protocol, which is used with Potter's line of SLC detectors and modules. Some operating characteristics of PAD devices are that the LEDs flash approximately once every four seconds while the SLC pulls the circuit, and the device LEDs do not latch on when activated, but instead flash rapidly. Each SLC loop can only have a total of 30 LEDs activated in rapid flash mode at a time, but that doesn't stop the control panel from receiving additional events. Potter has three different series of addressable detectors. They all use the same pad protocol and can be installed on the same SLC loop. The 100 and 200 series detectors must be installed on a 100 series base. On the left is the list of the 100 and 200 series detectors, and on the right are all the available bases. Three hundred series detectors need to be paired with a three hundred series base. The detectors from this series are on the left, and the associated base is on the right. All detectors and bases are purchased separately. The 300 series detectors have a magnet test that the 100 and 200 series were lacking. It goes without saying that the magnet test does not replace the aerosol test required by NFPA. The PAD PD is Potter's photoelectric smoke detector. These detectors can have their sensitivity adjusted via the programming software. All models that include photo smoke detection are UL268 7th edition compliant. The PAD HD heat detectors can be set as fixed temperature or combination rate of rise and fixed temp. They have an adjustable alarm set point as well as the ability to be used as a low temperature sensor. When using the 100 series detectors, there is a reduced spacing above 160 degrees and the PAD 300 maintains the 70 foot spacing throughout the entire temperature range. On the PAD CD carbon monoxide detectors, there is a difference in lifespan between the 100 and 300 series detectors. The PAD 100 has an 8-year lifespan, while the 300 has a 10-year lifespan. Because CO detection requires threshold timers, it is recommended to test Potter CO detectors with the control panel in walk test mode. This disables the timers and allows a quick response to CO test gas. The PAD PHD is a combination photo heat detector. Potter's combination detectors include individually mappable elements, and through the programming software the device can be configured as a single detector or split. This allows the individual elements to have the same characteristics of their standalone counterparts while only consuming a single SLC address. Heat detectors that are part of a multi-element detector have a fixed temperature set point of 135 degrees and are not adjustable. The PCD is the combination photo and CO detector. Both series of detectors have a 10-year lifespan. The PCHD is all three detector types in a single detector head. There is a photoelectric smoke, a CO, and a heat detector, providing three separate mappable points. Potter offers two models of duct detector. The pad duct is a simple SLC duct detector. The housing does not include a built-in relay, and there is no remote test station that is compatible with this detector. The pad duct R does have a built-in relay, but it also requires 24 volts auxiliary power due to the higher amperage relay and the ability to have either a pad DRTS or an MS series remote test switch wired directly to the detector. The PAD 300 DD is listed for in-duct applications. This head also serves as the replacement head for the PAD 300 duct and the PAD 300 duct R. Potter offers several different detector bases, including an addressable sounder base, an addressable low frequency sounder base, an addressable relay base, an isolator base, a speaker base, and a standard four or six inch base. On the 100 series bases, there is a tab that needs to be broken off when disabling the locking feature of the detector head. On the 300 series, the locking feature works exactly the opposite. To enable the locking feature, break the tab as shown in this illustration. The pad 4dB and 6dB are standard 4 and 6 inch detector bases. The 4 inch base mounts on a 3.5 inch octagon box only, while the 6 inch can mount on several different boxes. The PAD SB sounder base offers a fully mappable sub-point output from the detector that is housed on it. 
These basses require a programmable output type that is specific to sounder basses and that is for use with sounder basses only. The pad LFSB is a 520Hz version of the sounder bass. The 100 series LFSB can only mount on a four square box since it recesses back into the box. The 300 series has several mounting options since it has no protrusion. The pad RB offers a fully mappable form C relay that becomes a subpoint of the detector that it's housing. The pad IB isolator base includes self-restoring short circuit isolation for the SLC circuit. The pad SPKB is a speaker base that is not an addressable device. It is a base that has a speaker attached to it, so it'll require SLC wiring for the detector in addition to the speaker circuit. The speaker base can only mount on a four square box. For any additional questions, please contact tech support at the phone number or email listed on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.